Hey guys, MechanicCG here and welcome back to Need for Speed Heat. It is episode number two today. Um, first of all, I just want to say if you guys want to join my crew, it is the Mech Tech crew or the tag is Mech, so search it up on the Find Crew tab. Uh, the first 32 people to um, join the crew will get invited automatically. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can see what people actually want to join. Um, but today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be driving during the daytime, I think. Um, I absolutely love these loading screens because it gives you all this cinematic look of the car. And it looks absolutely stunning. Like, it's just so cool. Um... Episode 1 still hasn't come out yet because I've been so excited and wanted to play this. Um, so I reloaded the game as well in online and it seems to run a little bit smoother. Um, if you look, it sort of runs at a better frame rate. So I'm going to continue. Oh, I forgot. Now that we are online, we don't pause at all. Um, so, yeah. We need to be a little bit careful of that. That wing is massive, though. It just looks so out of place. But eventually, this car is going to look amazing. Oof. So, I don't know whether... Um Does it show on the map bit? No. No. Um, so one thing is, with the sort of racer challenges, it gives you three challenges to do, almost like Need for Speed Rivals, where it gave you the challenges and you had to complete it. And what the game does is it gives you the challenges. But during the day, when you do events, you earn bank. But from those challenges, you will earn rep. And um, when you do um, the other way around, if you do at night, where you normally earn rep, you'll earn bank from the challenges. So it's really interesting, actually, how they're doing this sort of, like, split. Daytime is only money and... Nighttime is only uh, respect points. Um, but honestly, this game is stunning. That's not very reassuring, though. There we go. Oh, that engine, though. Hang on, is this the same race that we did before? Am I at the wrong event? Oh well. It's a race at the end of the day. Lap two of three. This, this game is one of the only games really out of um, the whole sort of announcements throughout the year that I've actually been looking forward to. Um, but so far, it hasn't disappointed at all. Um, yeah, I'm definitely... 
I'm definitely going to enjoy playing this game. Take over. What does that mean? What is going on? I'm guessing this is because I'm online, so it takes a little bit longer to load stuff. Okay, this is one we haven't done yet. Okay, so there's an option that you can challenge everyone um, that is currently online. Or you can challenge just your party uh, to do the event. One thing I do like is the fact that there is all drive straight from the start. I mean, everyone wanted that with Need for Speed um, Payback. And we just never got it. So it's actually really good to see that that's now a thing. Let's go. Oh, that was good. Got to get a little bit of a drift out of that then. One thing I like as well, or another thing that I like, is the fact that when you want to drift, it's not restricted to only drift builds being able to properly drift like in Payback. Um, as long as you can drift, it will drift. And obviously you can tune it so it's harder to drift and it's more grippy, but it's not like you're restricted to that class anymore you can actually modify it to be specifically where you want on that like grid pattern where it showed you whether you wanted more um, of one type or more of another type Nos, it's sort of um, a little bit confusing on the fact that the Nos um, isn't like you press it and you use part of it. I sort of don't know how I feel about the new Nos mechanics, um, but I am totally willing to try anything that um, EA throws at us. This is literally the only game that I like from EA. Um, EA just isn't the kind of developer that I'm too keen on. Um, but Need for Speed, they don't really go on about um, microtransactions and everything like that. I mean, they did have quite a... Are we lapping them? That's insane. Yeah, Need for Speed... Payback, they did have a few microtransactions, but it wasn't all based only on microtransactions. Come on. Let's go. I might have to swap back over to solo mode. Uh, because this is actually taking quite a while to load. Nine thousand, that's good. My performance is quite high, one two nine. 
Oh look, you see live the cops actually chasing the people. If you look here, uh, the cops are actually already chasing this guy. That is cool. Uh, so we have another event over here. Is there any way I can quickly... Right, so we're back on a single player lobby. So it should be a little bit better and a little bit smoother at loading the races. Um, but yeah. Honestly, these cutscenes are just amazing. And the fact that you get different cutscenes for different time of day is pretty cool. Circuit race. Let's go! Move! Get out the way! Oh, there's a billboard up there. I like how the cops don't really get involved during the daytime because really they can't uh, be like dirty cops during the day um, but definitely during the night when they crack down on speeding and that I mean I guess they made this game for both kinds of people so the people who want to race in the daytime they don't want um, cops around free roam. Those people can mess around during the day, and while at night time, that's when the free roam cops come out. And I think the way that they've done that is really actually quite interesting, and it's a really good way of doing it as well, because um, it means that people can play the game how they want to, a bit like the crew too. They can play it how they want to. And it doesn't force you to play everything. You can play what you want and you can still enjoy the game and pretty much complete the game doing the one storyline you want to. Turbo! Definitely corner cut in there. Speed Hunters. Final lap. Under the sea. Oh, Drifty McDrifty Boy. Why did I not there? <laughs> Yahoo! Finish first. Twelve grand. Alright, uh, what events are next? Uh, 
Uh, who's this guy? We need to be level 130, so I think I might head over to a garage. And see if we can upgrade it at all. Hey, it's Lucas. You keep it busy? Just enjoying some downtime. Wait, hang on, that's free roam cop. I was gonna say, you know, people come to Palm City and they just think it's about downtown and the beach. Yeah, they should take a look around. Ease off the gas, enjoy the scenery, go up into the hills. Now, you can live here for years and still find new places. So don't get dragged into, you know, going from A to B all the time. Do the whole alphabet. I will. You good? Yeah, it's nothing. Just wanted to check that the car's treating you right. Look, I'll get out of your hair. Relax. Take in the sights. I'll see you around. Epic. So the cops didn't really pay much attention to us then. I don't know whether they just don't bother during the day. That is interesting. Here we go. Uh, I'm guessing they have sort of like different textured garages. Um, look around the city yet? Yeah, interesting town. Okay, so we can upgrade the crankshaft. Better brakes is a good option. Uh, racing tires and probably new exhaust system. Why not? Um, let's go back to the customization, take a look, see what we can do. Uh, whenever you do rear fenders, you always have to do the fronts as well. Otherwise it looks off. Nice, we're getting somewhere with our customization. Oh, and yes, what I was on about with this. So, daytime you earn rep. So, we're going to go for the day. Oh, that looks good. You can see the difference in it. See, the fact is, this almost looks like a high-quality rendered video. And that's what's amazing about it, is the quality of the stuff in this game is absolutely amazing. Uh, let's go this way. Uh, I'm not too keen on the rear... <laughs> There was just no jump there. Yo, the cop car just went straight past me. Didn't see a thing.
is Dexterity check. Uh, we look good to go. Hey, Dex. Good to see you again. I'll show you the way to the track. Follow me. Go left here. No Lucas this time, huh? Ah, figures. Let's take a right. We grew up on these roads. Me and Lucas are the same age. Though, obviously, the years have been harder on his Cuban ass. I do like the fact that we get to, like, drive and just roam and enjoy. This track where we're going, that's where we learned to race back in the day. They get some kind of water treatment plant. This place used to stink like a swamp, and that's what made it perfect. The air was nasty, but the roads were clear. One time, Lucas nearly drifted into an open tank of sewage. But don't worry, they put a roof on that since. This is amazing. And we got the horn as well. Oh! Practice sessions for out of towners, so y'all don't embarrass yourselves at the showdown. If you impress, maybe I'll give you a little something, something to get your car up to showdown standards. I like the sound of that. Fair enough. I wonder if that something, something would be like an upgraded part. Let's go right here. Here we are. Let's see what you got. Oh, nice. Let's see what you got then, Dex. Noob around. Jumps. That's the first. I'll catch you soon enough. Three. Nice. I love a good fight. 
final lap. Well, it looks like you're going to lose to three other people. <laughs> Finished. Whoa. Has Lucas been teaching you? He used to pull moves like that when we was kids. You can definitely come back again. Crew, the Mech Tech crew. Don't forget to join that if you want to. If you want to uh, join in with some future stuff. I don't know what yet. Nice. So that is that part sorted out. Uh, we've got a load more races to do, though. Why aren't you out there racing? How do you? Maybe I am. You sound way too chill. I'm just taking a break. Shut up. What you come to this town for? The weather? Get out there. Always be racing. And how are you and Lucas even related? I know, right? I got Bobby's gift for speed. Luca got his soccer wrenches. Yeah. Sure he's pretty quick at fitting an air filter. Yeah, he can do it in his sleep. Which is good because it's so boring. <laughs> Don't let him slow <laughs> you down now. I won't. Good. Now race. Go. Come on, come on. One star. Not good enough. What's this race? Bannister. Cool, let's do this. So I've been playing a lot of the uh, Need for Speed Heat Studio app today, um, trying out some of the customization. At some point, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create like customization for a skin, uh, for a wrap, for a car. At some point. Um, on the studio app, probably get a little bit of footage for that and put it in one of the videos and sort of like import it in um, because that would be pretty amazing to just customise a car and on the app and import it. I mean that is the whole point of the studio app is to be able to do it on the go so you can be playing Need for Speed and play the best bit of the Need for Speed which is the customization. Um, and enjoy it wherever you want. Nice. Lap number two. Jump.
we'll probably do a couple more races, do some of the customization, um, and then after the customization, we'll probably call it the end of the episode there. I definitely want to see um, some people join the crew on here, um, so I can see what kind of customization you guys do. Um, it would be amazing to see like the kind of builds that everyone gets up to. Um, we are a mile ahead. What? I want to see a Bugatti Veyron. Don't know why. I just want to see one. <laughs> that would be. That would be the best car to be able to customize. <laughs> Nearly overtook someone. Don't know what my controller was doing there. Finish first. They are still 77, 78% done. Hey, it's Lucas. You keep it busy? Just enjoying some downtime. Oh, nice. You know, I was going to say, you know, people come to Palm City and they just think it's about downtown and the beach. Well, they should take a look around. Ease off the gas, enjoy the scenery, go up into the hills. Now you can live here for years and still find new places. So, oh, don't get dragged into, you know, going from A to B all the time. Do the whole alphabet. I will. You good? Yeah, it's nothing. Just wanted to check that the car's treating you right. Look, I'll get out of your hair. Relax. Take in the sights. I'll see you around. Jump. Right, we've got one more race to do, and then that is going to be the end of the episode. Um, so, by the looks of it, this seems like... Need for Speed at night, but almost like a Forza Horizon 4 kind of thing. Like a festival of racing. And that, I quite like. I'm not going to lie, I quite like that. I mean, I want... I want to see Forza do something like this. Obviously, customization is Need for Speed's thing, but I want to see Forza do like a street racing thing. Now, I know they would then have to make like a 12 rated game and it wouldn't work as well, but that would be something that I would want to see, and I know quite a few people want to see that as well. Um, like an underground street scene kind of thing. I just cut like half of the track. Come on then, let's finish this race. This is actually quite a short race. I'm hoping that in the future they'll get longer races, but if this is the case, and this is perfect progression, um, Forza didn't really do well on their progression part because they saw all the races were completed in like two minutes and that was it. 
there wasn't some form of progression where the races got longer and longer each time. Um, and that's what I want to see, is longer and longer races as the game progresses. Looks like we won again. Right, let's start heading back to a safe house. One thing I am going to say, I'm not going to fast travel at all during this series. Just because I want to enjoy um, the driving, driving the cars and all that. I want to enjoy it more than just like, oh yeah, that's it, done, skip everything. You liking the showdown? You enjoying the whole circus? I expected more cotton candy. Uh, let's go for a new ECU. Stick in some better cooling. So we also need to go and actually jump out into the open world next episode because of the fact that um, we need some better better parts. Oh, you know what? Hang on, what are these? Oh, those are quite nice actually. I don't like the stock mirrors, but I don't like the custom ones either. Is that bad? Uh, let's see. Exhaust. There we go. I think we've actually cut out oh, splitter. Can't forget about that. There we go. That is everything customized. Um, oh, so we got some customizations actually being done by the community already. That looks pretty nice, actually. Uh, let's see what. Obviously, the. Demo's been out for probably a couple of hours now. Um, that is good. Oh, we can change NOS color. I forgot about this. Um, I think going for a blue underglow would be quite nice. And there we go. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please leave a like. Comment down below and subscribe. Join the crew. Uh, it is the Mech Tech crew or the tag is Mech. And if you want to help support the channel, hit the join button. It would mean the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.